Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing my recipe for a classic clean and delicious zucchini bread. Now this is a really easy way to work a seasonal ingredient into your diet because zucchini is abundant this time of year and it is absolutely delicious baked into bread. Mm. 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 So the first thing that I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to grease my loaf pan. I've got a 9 inch loaf pan and I'm just going to rub a little bit of coconut oil on the inside to create a nice light coating. You could also do this with butter or a little bit of cooking spray. Next I'm going to use a box grater to grate my zucchini. So I'm going to need one and a half cups of grated zucchini which is like one large or two smaller zucchinis and what I like to do is use the smaller holes on the box grater. This way you're going to keep the zucchini nice and fine which is going to ensure that you don't end up with any big chunks of zucchini in your bread. And just a side note, zucchini does hold a lot of water but we are not going to strain that off of the zucchini because we're going to use that as an extra liquid in the bread which is going to add some more moisture. Once I have the zucchini all ready to go, I'm going to combine my wet ingredients starting with two eggs, third of a cup of melted coconut oil. What I like to do is I'll just scoop it out and then I melt it in the microwave and then I measure it. So it's a third of a cup. Coconut oil is great for baking because it is an extremely stable fat. Then I've got a quarter cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Gently whisk that all together. You just want to mix until you've got all of those ingredients combined and then I'm going to push that aside and pull in a nice big bowl to combine my dry ingredients. Starting with one and three quarter cup of white whole wheat flour. And remember white whole wheat flour has the same nutritional value as regular whole wheat flour. It just happens to be a little bit lighter in color and the texture is a little bit softer and more fine and so what that does is it creates a much lighter and fluffier end result which is why I like to use it for my baked goods. Then a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of fresh nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon, and then finally a half a cup of coconut sugar. Now I like to use the coconut sugar, it's a little less refined than white sugar and it has some micronutrients in there but if you don't have it on hand you really could use any type of granulated sugar that you have. And just note that I'm only using a half a cup of sugar for the entire recipe so this is not a super sweet zucchini bread. It's perfectly sweet in my opinion but if you want it to be a little sweeter you could add an extra quarter cup of sugar or an extra quarter cup of honey or leave the sugar as is and stir in some raisins or some chocolate chips. Then I'll just gently toss all of the dry ingredients together, make sure that they're mixed really well and then I'm going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and gently mix this until it's just combined. You really don't want to over mix it so as soon as you see everything come together it's ready to roll. And then my final step is to add that shredded zucchini into the bowl and a half a cup of chopped up walnuts and again gently stir that together. Pro tip, when buying walnuts at the grocery store look for walnut pieces or pre-chopped walnuts. They are less expensive than the whole walnut halves and when you're using them in recipes like this it saves you an extra step because you don't need to chop them up yourself. Once I've got my batter ready to roll I'm going to transfer it into my greased loaf pan and then I love to top this bread off with a few extra walnuts over the top. Not only is it beautiful but it lets whoever's eating it know what's going to be inside. Then this goes into my oven for 50 minutes or until it is cooked through. Now every oven varies so the real test is one when your kitchen starts to become very fragrant your bread is just about done and two just take a toothpick stick it right in the center of the bread and if it comes out clean you know your bread is ready to roll. From here you want to let the bread cool completely and then what I like to do is just loosen up the sides, pop it out of the bread and slice and enjoy. Now I love enjoying this bread just the way it is. Sometimes I'll warm it up in the toaster and then top it with a little bit of cream cheese over the top but really it is simple, it's delicious and it is a seasonal favorite in our house. Mm. Now if you guys like zucchini recipes just like this I will link to others that I've shared in the past. I've done gluten free chocolate zucchini muffins, a chocolate zucchini snack cake and another zucchini loaf that had some chocolate chips in it. So th that'll be up in the cards and down in the description box below. I cannot wait for you all to try this recipe and when you do please do me a favor and snap a picture. Tag me on Instagram and Facebook so I can see all the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. 
Starting with, ready? Okay, ready? I'm starting with, ready? Okay, ready? I'll just say, all right, let's do this, ready? One, ready? Otherwise, ready? 